quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> it's like ship cancer. Uh... It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying... Welcome on back, us, Jay Price. What's up, bud? ...this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. <laughs> such a downer. Alright, so, uh... Guys... Everybody that's watching from Chris's channel, welcome. You guys are welcome to go ahead and pop on over to the channel. Hang out with us. Or you can keep lurking over there in Chris's chat. It's cool, too. I don't mind. But yeah, you're welcome to come hang out with everybody. There's some cool people here. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. <clears throat> Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. <laughs> yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard Oh, I guess I already asked that question, huh? Just fine without an AI Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. Mm. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Ah. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons. All good, Chambers. <clears throat> or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why is there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Oh, well, might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization. Just put it out there. <laughs> the elusive man has monitoring devices on board. He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume oh. that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I want to know more about the people. All the talkie. Much of that data is classified. Oh, my cat. Do you have a specific inquiry? Rissles. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this mm. case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. How was Cerberus organized? Is hey, thanks for that host, Jay Price. Chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. Yes, Gordon. Which is directed by operator. Oh, I'm Watson. sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Absolutely, Gordon Freeman. I will certainly, certainly play playing Mass Effect Andromeda. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Damn it. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. <laughs> That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Alright, cool. We learn things! Yay! There we go. Codex entries for the win. 
I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about doing a 100% playthrough, like, kind of like we did with uh, Mass Effect 1. I think we probably should. Ooh, Tech Labs. Galaxy Map. Where are you people? Bum bum bum, bum bum bum, bum bum bum, bum bum bum, bum bum. Private terminal. Upgrades. Unread messages. Do we have any? Ooh! Admiral Anderson. Collector rifle and armor. The incisor sniper rifle. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. Combat training upgrades. Team status. So we got Miranda and Jacob. We got some dossiers and a few other people. Sweet. <laughs> what? Are you what? You're in chambers. Hey. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. <laughs> <clears throat> what are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss... <clears throat> More I'll Garrus! Sure you know. I agree. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. <laughs> it's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Ah, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> so much giggity with Kelly. <laughs> We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. Hmm. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. <laughs> Got him. He's needy for multitasking. But that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. Oh. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? <laughs> Honored, exhilarated, terrified, but mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. This organization has a dark oh, reputation. Already asked that. It sounds like Cerberus. I life. love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian. Torian. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? <clears throat> I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Nope, that's it. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll. Well, bang. Later. Okay. <laughs> Pony fails. What's this area of the ship? This is the combat information center. Here, the crew <clears throat> receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Ooh. 
Yes, the incisor. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, <clears throat> where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Woot. I am the very model of a scientist Solarian and have studied every species of Solarian. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Hmm. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. That's true, the whole thing with the Thorium is kind of shady. And we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people <clears throat> thinking about it as hard as I have. Hmm. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> oh, Pony. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that core. Right. Exploring the ship. Can't go in the tech lab yet. Ah. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows mm. lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point-to-point. -point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. I've oh. never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. Wow. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Why aren't these used everywhere? Uh, okay. To contact a hundred different worlds. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Craziness. Science, bitch. Isn't that, isn't that what Aaron Paul says? Yeah, science, bitch. Alright. Cool. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. <clears throat> well, thanks, human chambers. What's up? Oh, red messages. What? I, I didn't have a new message. You lied to me, Kelly Chambers. <clears throat> Captain's cabin. Ah, run to the wall. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. What the hell, did you call me? Accommodations <laughs> have been made for personal taste. That said, oh, this space man. is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the law. I have a freaking aquarium! It's pretty awesome. Is 
So I guess my romance options are still open. I don't have a picture of anybody on the uh, table here. Do 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 All right. Let's go down to the cruise quarters. It loads fast. I like that. What's here? Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. You guys are ridiculous. Can I talk to any of them? No? Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. <laughs> Got it. Oh, group showers? Bro. Go suck. Citadel, you did humanity proud that Hey, Psycho Prism, what's up, buddy? How are you? Welcome back. Here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking <laughs> down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What True. do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd hey, like to Hey Swoopa, what's up, buddy? How are you? <clears throat> what do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facility should be home technician soon. and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. Doing pretty good, Psycho Prism. Pretty damn good today, actually. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. <laughs> this ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> he made a butt joke. How did you find your way into Cerberus? He caught the shit. Did you believe I was once a family man working the Ezo rigs hey, along the frontier? I was happy enough, but <clears throat> losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Okay. Thanks, dude. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Back to work. Well, I wonder how these calibrations are going. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. It's Miranda's office. I don't want to talk to Miranda yet. She's a bitch. Dr. Chakwas! What's this area of the ship? It's obviously the fucking sick bay. It is equipped to provide short term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Collaborations. Yep. I'm shot. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, 
Here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed. Ah, uh, no, Psycho Prism. I haven't heard about a Mass Effect film. Welcome back, Shepard. You have everything you need. I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what Night the hard. Take it easy. might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. Okay. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. She's awesome. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Doctor Chakwas is a badass. Cool old lady. Okay. Now we can go talk to Miranda. Damn, she got a big old bed back here too. Bow -chick -bow -wow. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. Huh. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, oh. risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. Fake boobies. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. Wifey's home! Later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Alright, guys. A little momentum. I'll be right back. Good time to save the game, too.
All right, I'm back, guys and gals. It does need more wifey. She'll be in here soon, guys. She's going for work. She's going to change and get comfortable and come hang out. The squad. All right, let's see here. Disruptor ammo is pretty nice to have, actually. But, hmm. Then I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and purchase the next rank of incinerate because yeah see now I can get the AI hacking that's a pretty pretty nice one to have all right so commander what can I do for you wife is here yeah it's a BTTV thing thanks Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside nice. from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Boom. Of course, Commander. All right, I think we've talked to everyone thus far. Let's go get Morden Solus. He's actually one of my favorite characters in this game. He's very entertaining. Oh, we gotta go down to the bottom of the elevator. Go down to the engineering deck. We'll do that first. To the engineering deck. Boom, monitoring station. Port cargo hold. What up, what up? It's back here. Engineer Donnelly and Daniels. Look at that. It's so pretty. Wifey is the bestest. Anything else to click on? Let's go talk to Donnelly and Daniels. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. Everybody needs I'm a Scotsman. For the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably mm. find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for sure leave. Okay. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, that weasel Udina backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost Bust respect up. for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? I love learning about the people. I've been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Okay. Just a second. Let me fix something real quick. Bum, bum, bum. So I know where to pick up. What do you mean? Cleaning-wise. I work on the shelf, actually. How's it coming? 
It's got another coat of poly on some more of the shelves. Uh, I have Wednesday off, so it'll hopefully be finished then. Cerberus. Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. There we go. To kick the collectors right in the daddy bags. That's enough for me. All right, cool. Carry on. Carry on. Hey, Commander. FBA I'm coming. Amazed. Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. I like those guys. They're really funny. Their dialogues always made me laugh. Down here is where Jack's going to be, but nothing here now, obviously. Make sure there's no more little little things I could get. Little uh dealios for codex entries and whatnot. Nope. That is all, I think. It is right. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. What's this? Oh, it's the same thing. Same thing. So, back to the CIC. The kick. Alright. The galaxy map. And let's go pick what we gotta do. Guess we need to go to Omega. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. How you could fly the ship around. Whee. Start the scanner. Oh, we gotta be able to turn the planets faster than that. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Research projects. Iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Wheeze is the active duty Air Force streamer. I don't fly airplanes, I work on them. Why is this going any faster? This planet should spin way faster. This is lame. I remember they spin really fast with a controller. In fact, does this have controller support, I wonder? Ah, uh, that's right. I actually unplugged my wireless thing. Shit. Okay. There's gotta be something I can do to make this thing spin faster. Also, you have a lot of viewers and encoding hype. You know. Oh, yeah, no, we got a good host from Chris earlier. There's a lot of people lurking in his channel still, but it's very kick ass of Chris to, uh, to raid and host us. No, he actually had like 600 people watching him play Black Wake earlier, which is really kick ass. Yeah, there's gotta be something for, for faster spinning. Seriously. This is insane. It was way faster on the console, I believe. I don't remember being this slow, at least. Launching probe. Hey, Dark Shadow J, what's up, buddy? How are you? Super. 
Alright, there has got to be something I can do to make this faster. Ooh. Nice. <clears throat> Ooh. So it spins a little faster if I'm not scanning. That's ridiculous. Now, I know there's not a mod for it, because I was looking at all the different mods that I can get. And I already have, you know, the, the EMB and the texture pack stuff installed. And the other mod that I saw was really useful. It's kind of a cheap mod, and it was just something that allows you to have, like, a lot more fuel than you start off with for these little exploration deals, and a lot more probes. Like, 500 probes and 7,000 fuel instead of 1,000 fuel and 20 probes. It's a bit ridiculous. Mm. There you go. That's fine. We'll figure it out. Launching pro. <laughs> Everybody say hi to you, I feel. used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Oh, I don't have any more probes. Whoops. Start it back. Okay. Fuel depot. I have a lot of money, so it's not even a big deal. Eh, I'll do the probe another time. Damn it, press the wrong button again. What we'll do instead is uh, go to Omega. I can actually, Dark Shadow J, if I go to the soul system. <laughs> it's so pretty! I have to say though, looking at Mass Effect 2 guys, those mods that I have for Mass Effect 1 really did make a huge difference. What up, Cyrus? Who wants to get brushed? That kitty. I don't really have a choice whether to take Miranda and Jacob right meow. Stop pressing wrong buttons! I know, I'm sorry. Yep. Miranda. Do this. <clears throat> uh, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to. Oh, hello, Mocklin. That echo, just... though. Leave Fargot now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. There's a nice echo in the no, uh, thing there. Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. <laughs> High speed, low drag MLG gameplay, and you press the wrong buttons. We're also playing on Insanity, by the way. In case you guys didn't know, we are playing on Insanity. I guess I should probably put that in the title, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah. We're doing Insanity Run. I've never played on Insanity before. Messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Yep. I've already died once. So. Well, a freaking prologue mission. Omega, what a pisshole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it'll be very hard, but the people voted on it, so my hands are tied. Links. The people voted. See what's up over here. Welcome back, Edge Pony. There we are, dancing with Saris. Osiris gets to go outside and go for a walk. He always looks so pissed off when he like shakes his head and walks away, it's hilarious. enough stand still if you're looking for weapons you're not doing a very good job can't be too careful with dead specters that could be anyone wearing your face I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions they're clean Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. Okay. Yes, I should that. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. Eh, I like it. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. do for you. Oh. I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian doctor? Last I heard he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morton. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me oh, about? Yeah. Morton's also awesome. part of the Solarian special tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel. <clears throat> you and half of Omega. You want him dead, too? Why's everyone after him? 
He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Oh, sounds perfect. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over oh. there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Arcade? Yeah, that's Alien Stripper's logic. Like. Well, dancers. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless Isis. they're at war, you'll never see them together. Yeah. Doing, one Cam? thing they hate more than each other what? is Archangel. What are you complaining about? Hmm? What? Come here. What are you complaining about? Hmm. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk yeah. in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Okay. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. We'll see. Short answer, mind your own damn business. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Right on. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Okay. Into the quarantine zone. Some paradigm stuff. Come back and talk to Maybe a Merc recruiter. Bartender. What's up, Anto? What are you going to talk about? Alright. Isis. Come here, girl. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each, and you get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns, Eclipse, or the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the Mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? I he see does it. everything he can to screw with us. Yeah. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. What Derek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And man. What's up, girl? Hmm? What's up, little girl? What are you complaining about, huh? What are you complaining about? What? What are you complaining about? What's that? Woo! <laughs> Here's my open the door. 
he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garn's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The Mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Hmm. Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. He and one badass team, dude. We've dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Huh. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? All right. Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. been recruited by the mercenaries. Anybody else talk to? I don't remember really yeah. talk to him for something. I don't remember what. I remember really talking to him for something. Lower level down here. Oh god, it's Helena Blake. Oh, I guess I never saw her on the Citadel again, huh? Commander Shepard? Is that you? I'd heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you to remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, okay. all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain... What's well, Cyrus? What are you doing? Ability, I suppose. He's like, I want to go back outside, Mom. And now you're on Omega. One's a criminal, always criminal, eh? Oh, no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good hmm. work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Cyrus, Thank you. No. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Yeah, I realize I never ran back into that reporter. Hmm. always makes me laugh. The girls are throwing down, holy crap. <laughs> Let's go. 
Sorry, matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I <laughs> killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. I fucking can. The stories are Arya's now. What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. Came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her oh. decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. I nice. should be going. All right, cool. Not a fan of the Vorcha, they're very freaky looking. Look at these guys, eh? Tell Captain Gabon we not kill anyone today. That's freaky. I don't know a Captain Gabon. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gabon we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Borja on Omega. <sighs> Go away. Talk too much. Gabon's fox get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabon's tricks. We leave. Fucking Vorcha are creepy, dude. This place. How can these people be left to rot like this? You don't understand or you don't want to. It doesn't really matter. No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. Here we go. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person, but you can't breathe a word if it's a hair. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. Oh. The money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. The pirates forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off the station. Wow. Why does Herod control your prices? Herod made me swear not to undercut it, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. 
But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. Hmm. I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Mars sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. Hmm. Why does Herod control you? Uh, Why no, does Herod control you? Uh, no one will buy from me when How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Okay. Ooh, he's got the couplings. Heavy skin weave. That'll help a lot, actually. So, I wonder if I help him first if I get a discount. I'm gonna save here. And let's go talk to this other dude real quick, see if I can get him to lighten up. Something here for you. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can, but don't tell any girl I'll lose my shirt. Sweet. You're back. You must have seen something you like. Alright, semiconductor conduits. Storm speed. Sniper rifle damage. Titillating alien magazine. Oh god. That's a Hanar on a front cover. Alright, this is here, it's important to have. Oh no, here it's on the other side. There we go. Wow, really? It's a big old L4. He's got a cool visor though. Headshot damage by 10%. Nice. Hmm. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. Mostly pride, legitimate. My prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. Tell me about your deal with the quarrian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, you drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my yeah. kiosk if you want to buy anything. Sniper model. Now what's this? Yeah, buddy.
And we'll talk to Ken Salvage over here. So let's save the game first. Talk to him. Hey, I get a discount. I heard you spoke to Harren. Thank you so much. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. Take care of yourself. You too. This is valuable. What do you need? Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. Boom. I can still buy a salvage, so that's good. And plus 40 experience. Got some stuff for the engineers now. That's good. I only got like 21,000 credits left. Good thing is, I actually got a lot from my Mass Effect 1 playthrough, which is pretty awesome. Okay, I don't want to do this yet. Let's see what else is down here. Lacunas, hey, what's up? Welcome back. How are you? Lady, the plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. Hey, Logic, got thanks for the host. hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Solarian named Morton Solis in the slums. <laughs> in there to find him. Oh, I'm sorry. Doctor, Did I break your concentration? That crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few that. months ago. Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. The area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? 
Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. There we go. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. <laughs> Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. All right, let's go get Dr. Morden Solus. Solus is freaking awesome. We solve body bag or uh, solve problems with body bags and explosives. Yes, that's exactly at harm. Speaking of explosives, it kind of upsets me that they took away the grenades in this game. I like the grenades in Mass Effect One. Shepard. Yep, got my incisor sniper rifle. I don't have any kind of upgrades for him, so. Triple shot sniper rifle. Two, two, two. Love this thing. I remember when I pre ordered Mass Effect 2 and I ended up getting this thing. Ooh, refined element zero. Hell yeah. I like it. Thanks guys for not shooting me. That's pretty nice of you. Alright. Medical station. That's handy. There's a bunch of thermal clips back here, so that's good. You now I can backtrack a bit and get some more ammo. Meow! Meow. Good luck. These sons of orchard shooting anything in the woods. Access granted. 5,000 credits. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Alright. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your feigned pity is the final really? result. Really? Hmm. That's pretty cool, fantasy. I need to find Morton Solis. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorja burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you. <coughs> I hope. <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound sincere. <laughs> Maybe sure. it's fever. But as you said, you mean that what have I to lose? Yeah. What do you wish to know? Keeps me from playing games, I'll keep streaming. Mm -hmm. 
When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final I'm playing this on Insanity difficulty, by the way. The stream going on it. I've never played Mass Effect on, on Insanity before. I will risk it, if you can reach me. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Forcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Forcha are immune to disease. <laughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect okay, humans? What do you want? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morton Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's nice. not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Goodbye, human. I do want to go down here then. Go away from the objective, because then we can find things. Yeah, like a wall safe. And a data pad. What, Osiris? He wants to go back outside. If you guys can hear Osiris meowing, it's because he wants to go outside.
dudes. Long range with an SMG. Ooh, damn. Oh, where's the next ones? Is that all of them? Oh, yeah. Jeez, about time. Wow. Right away! Okay. Well, we got them all killed, so that's a bonus. Backtrack a little bit and we'll get some of that ammo I saw. Yeah. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. Bitchy? Whoa. Her name is Betchy though? That's strange. Let's see if we can find more than Solus. I don't want to shoot more people in the face with my sniper rifle. Because sniper rifles are awesome in this game. Interesting. They modified assault rifle. I like it. Another door to bypass. It's probably save the game too. Bypassed. Ooh, 
Oh, a nice apartment. There's somebody in here. I'll steal your stuff first, people. Oh, thank God, you're human. We saw that door open. We thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Yeah, I like the mansions as well. The the Absolutely. Dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the fortune, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The what? first Logic? cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. <laughs> and the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the blue sun started sealing the victims... Forget how dark the Mass Effect 2 was as far as, spreading. like, what's now going on? What's kind of shady shit going and on? Burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the blue suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vortus started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. Alright. Cool. I need to find Morton Souls. Oh yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Huh. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them, too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morton's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Cool. Any more stuff I can steal? Yeah, wall safe. What? Plus five Paragon, then I got four, four, blah, four thousand credits from you. I like these people. I was about to say five thousand, but it's like four. Forts. Four thousand. Forts. Good word. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Exactly, Lynx. That's the way to do it, right? I'm going to save you!
We have to get it. Oh. Jacob's only saving grace is Bionics. Yeah, I can't really wait to get rid of Jake. I never actually use Jacob or Miranda ever. Fet 2 crashed, also. But the death still counts. The death counts. Of course it does. It's another beard. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> You funny. Well. It was close. It was definitely close. Alright. Well, I did save, like, right before it, so. It's okay. My second death. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Not for playing on Insanity. Uh, I'm, I'm not disappointed. Ready to eat there, Wafu? Mm -hmm. You want me to stop doing things? You want me to stop doing things? Let me stop drinking. Sure. Well, it was a good point for me to end the game anyway. It's 7.30. It's about that time of night, everybody. Wife and I are going to go have some dinner. The long streams are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it was really awesome to be able to play some Mass Effect 2 today. Yay! It was awesome. I'm glad to have you all here. Chris, if you're still in here lurking, buddy, thank you so much for that host. You absolutely freaking rock, dude. I really appreciate it. So please, everybody, stick around for a little bit. Uh, we're going to raid somebody because we definitely have the numbers to do so. I would uh, love for you all to be here for that, and we'll continue Mass Effect 2 tomorrow, it'll be fantastic. I'm, I'm pretty excited, actually. So, yes, communications error, that, that, that's fine. Not worried about it. So, you all, please join me for a graveyard raid. We're going to raid someone, let's see who I'm following and is streaming right now. Will do, Harm. Will do. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's see, Co streaming, Ashley streaming, Old Man Blue. You know what? We're gonna read Old Man Blue. Haven't read him in a while. He hasn't streamed in a while. He just got his computer rebuilt thanks to some really kind people on a GoFundMe account after his computer died. 
So, uh... <laughs> you're welcome, Logic. So, everybody, please join me in raiding Old Man Blue. He's an awesome streamer, a really good guy. He's playing Wildstar right now. He uh, does gaming for vets. He, every donation on his channel goes to uh, American Military Veterans. He works for Veteran Affairs, so it's, it's pretty fantastic. He's a great dude. So, please join me in this graveyard raid and recognizing this absolutely awesome individual on Twitch. I will see you all over there. Please wait for me to jump into the channel. I'll say, arise my raiders. And then uh, you all follow the graveyard raid. It'll be, it'll be pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked. So, I will see you all over Blue's channel. You all have a great night. See you tomorrow.